Okay, welcome back. My name is Roald Baum, the creator of Unbound Being, You Are the Solution. And um, today I wanted to ask or answer some questions because often in my comments I get questions but you're generally just answered way in, in the comment box itself. And sometimes I also get questions that are specific and especially people that would like me to answer some of their uh, specific questions. Sometimes even uh, they request, especially in a video if I can. Now, of course, I don't have the time always to answer or to even to the comments, let alone make videos about everything. But sometimes certain videos strike me and trigger something in me that I would like to, to respond to. And this specific question is from Morak Christie. Basically, she wrote down this beautiful poem and it did strike me. And I think it's very uh, applicable on, on what we are um, speaking about generally in the, in the videos that I make. And here she says, and I'll read it first, and then I'll go into what, what, I, what my take on this is. She says, Sleep the sleep of the dreamer. Dream the dreams never told. Feel the peace and stillness of silence. Feel the warmth of body and soul. Let go of all that surrounds you. Let go of pain and sadness in life. Hold on to what you believe in and follow the darkness to light. And the beauty will start to surround you and give you a comforting hold when you sleep the sleep of the dreamer and dream the dreams never told. So to me, that's a beautiful poem which has both an, an, a statement and then the instruction of how to do it and even the result of what you will get in return for doing, let's say, that or shifting from a place of mental world into a place of being. So going from... Um, the psyche really, the, the mental psychic structure towards the being of life itself now. And this is how I see it. Sleep the sleep of the dreamer. Well, most people live in the mental world, the world of past, the world of thinking, the world of not being here present in the moment with sensation and love and well-being, just seeing, hearing and acting. But they live in a world where they're constantly busy trying to work things out, anticipating the future, remembering the past. And that really is a world of the dreaming. If anybody, if they say, you know, this is all a dream. Well, in a way, even this is a dream. But especially the mental realm where people live, where their own concepts, their own ideas, their own belief systems, the constant talking in their head about them as the narrative of their own movie. The most, you know, uh, important player in the movie is them and they're always considering, you know, what am I going to do with my life? Where am I going? Where have I been? Where? That's the dream. And that's what dreamers do. So this thing says, in this poem, it says, sleep the sleep of the dreamer. In other words, drop it. Sleep through that dream by dropping it. You know, so sleep the sleep of the dreamer. Don't do that anymore. Stop sleeping uh, as a dreamer, but sleep through that sleep of the dreamer and you're free. Again, basically it's saying minus plus minus is plus, right? It's saying sleep that sleep and you're awake. Then it says dreams, dream the dreams never told. Well, I, could, I would say that live the life never told because how, how many gurus, how many teachers, how many masters, how many freed, liberated beings on this planet are there? Have there even been in the last thousands of years? Of course, there's plenty. We don't hear of all of them. There's thousands of them alive right now, but few of them teach. But there's still thousands on the 7 billion people we have on this planet. It's nothing. So dream the dreams never told to me is when you sleep the sleep of the dreamer, you'll dream the dreams that are never told. You'll dream the real life, the awake life. You'll dream that which is here now. And those are never told. Those dreams are never told. Dreams that we always hear on the dinner tables and everywhere and everybody in, on the news and on everywhere is always about their person, about their thinking, about their belief systems. Those are not the dreams we want to want to hear. We've, we've heard them hundreds of times, thousands of times, millions of times. We want to hear the dreams never told. And that's those of people like Muji and Sadhguru and Barry Long, people who live the real dream free of self in the moment, in the heart, in the being. And then it goes into an instruction. This is how you do it. It says, feel the peace and stillness of silence. Well, this is what I teach. This is what all gurus really should teach and many of them do teach is because you're here. You feel the well-being inside the body. You feel the sensation. Feel the peace and stillness of silence. Feel the warmth of body and soul. Well, you feel the body. The, you can feel the body sensating alive. I wouldn't use the word soul, but I would use sensation or being. 
So feel the warmth of body and being. Let go of all that surrounds you. You know, close your eyes, which is what most meditations do, because these, this is the biggest input. This is 95 or 90 percent. And then the hearing is the other, you know, and then tasting and seeing, you know, all these things are not very important. But the seeing really distracts us into this mirror world outside. So to stay within and to feel the warmth of body and sensation or being, let go of all that surrounds you. And then let go. And it's, it's basically saying drop and let go. Close your eyes and rest in the state of being, silence of being. Let go of pain and sadness in life, which means let go of both inner pain and outer pain, which means you could say mental pain and, and emotional pain. The mental pain is, which is sadness, you could say where you're, where you're thinking of in, you're thinking about, you know, what you lost, what, what has happened to you, how, how that was not right or anything. So you, you kind of think about it all the time, which is thinking, not being. Again, the old life, that's the sleep of the dreamer, you know, and then let go of the sensation as well. The, I mean, not the sensation, but the emotion, which is the feelings. You'll find that when you go still, often there's a tension in the solar plexus area, like a gripping, blocking heaviness that makes you sigh like, <sighs> because there's a, there's a past, there's emotion in there. Really emotion is past. And so it, it lodges down in a ball and it covers over the, the free, beautiful solar plexus sensation with this tense, past emotional body, the emotional body. So let go of pain and sadness in life, right? Hold on what you believe, hold on to what you believe and follow the darkness to light. Beautiful. I mean, it, I would not say believe, I would say hold on to what you know. You know what is true. You know what is love. You know that love is eternal. You know, it's not bound to some object outside of you, something that you had or have, or your, even your own physical body. You know that love is eternal. The universe is eternal. It's not formal. It's not bound to these limited structures, whether you're happy, uh, whether you're wealthy or whether you're whatever. This, this, this love is eternal. It's not bound to objectivities. So hold on to what you know and follow the darkness from where you sometimes still are into the light of what you know to be true, that you're always free. You always have been free. You're the awareness. You're the I am. So follow the darkness to light and, and then stay there. And a beauty will start to surround you and give a comforting hold. Well, of course, when you're within, silent and quiet, and without pain, and in the light, in the love, then of course a beauty will start to surround you and give you comforting hold, because that will be the place, both within and without, where you are. Now living as a, as a life, living example of love and freedom and truth, beauty, in the moment, not in the mind thinking about the sorrows and what you've lost. And then it says, a beauty will start to surround you and give you a comforting hold when you sleep the sleep of the dreamer and dream the dreams never told. Because this beauty will do when you actually wake up from that sleeping dreamer and start to live the life never told. For so rare is it that a free human being that lives always in the heart is the story that we hear about. We usually hear about selves and separation and pain and suffering. So... Well, it's, this is what the poem says to me, you know. Sleep the sleep of the dreamer, dream the dreams never told. Feel the peace and stillness of silence. Feel the warmth of body and soul. Let go of all that surrounds you. Let go of pain and sadness in life. Hold on to what you believe and follow darkness to light. A beauty will start to surround you and give you a comforting hold when you sleep the sleep of the dreamer and dream the dreams never told. It's beautiful. It's, say, it's an instruction. Uh, instruction of what you already know. Now all you have to do is live it and dream the dream that's never told. Live the life that so rarely is seen in this world now. Be one of them.